Hello everyone, welcome to Cotton Boots. So today we are going to discuss about the topic how to control the request payload size in Nginx. So uh, in the past couple of days, uh, in the in the past couple of videos, we have discussed about various configurations in Nginx like installation of Nginx, uh, proxying or uh, hosting multiple web APIs in Nginx, hosting, hosting multiple websites in Nginx. Uh, creating reverse proxy in Nginx, uh, creating or basically configuring Nginx as a load balancer. So uh, we have gone through various several uh, several topics. So today we will see how we will control the payload size in Nginx. So this is one of the important configuration in uh, in Nginx when coming to web application. Uh, the reason is when we create applications and host it uh, in in the public. So what will happen is uh, the APIs by default will accept uh, the payload of like I mean of the default size in Nginx the default size is 1 MB but uh, in some other web servers there will be like I mean some other default size so or if, if like this value is configured to a wrong value let's say like I mean if you are configuring it to a very larger value so what will happen is people can basically or attackers can uh, misuse this configuration so misuse this value so what they can do is they can send payload which is of very high value high size and hit your api and then what will happen your api will gradually go down so it's something similar to denial of service attack kind of so in order to uh, control this or in order to configure the opt this optimally we need to understand the nature of our api and based on that we'll have to configure this uh, specifically for each of our endpoints it's I would recommend not to configure globally so I would recommend like configure this specific to the endpoints so that uh, let's say like I mean I have uh, we have our uh, two endpoints or maybe a group of endpoints so the first group the payload size the maximum possible payload size is 1 MB so configure 1 MB for that and second group of APIs uh, the maximum possible uh, payload size is maybe 10 MB so then configure 10 MB specifically for those group or those specific API. In this way, we'll be able to uh, get more control and configure like uh, a better API in terms of uh, like, I mean, uh, a, a production like scenario. Okay, so let's get into the system. Okay, so I have provisioned an AWS instance. So you can try it in your laptop as well. So uh, then I have already uh, installed Nginx. So if you see, pseudo service nginx status okay so you see nginx is already running okay and i have uh, this as this topic is not about uh, the config the main basically like i mean the main set of nginx i'm not going to configure any domain or anything or i'm not going to configure ssl certificate so it's just i'm, I'm going to play with the default configuration of nginx okay so let's open the default configuration of nginx so enable default so this is a default configuration oh sorry it's a file let's open that sites enable default well t let's open the editor i use nano okay so here in the default configuration i have added a location which is basically for my api so i have written a small program okay so which is a api post api uh, using flask python flask and what i am going what i am doing in this api is i have a small function okay so in this uh, i have uh, i am reading basically two parameters okay so it accepts json so this api slash api accepts json and then from there i am i am expecting a parameter username and another parameter password think about like a login api and in typical uh, like production grade apis it's not going to be in this way so but for an example i am giving a, a simple scenario okay with username password and i am simply printing the username password okay so this is what i am doing in the api and what i have done is i have copied this program to this machine okay where i have where we have installed nginx and then i have proxy i am proxying when any request comes to this nginx i am proxying it to localhost so localhost is the same server 8080 slash api and uh, here is the program so it, this is running in 8080 and okay 
and this is the additional configuration so this is something that i have added from my side so this is the additional configuration that controls the max body size so the payload size so by default in nginx the size is 1 mp okay so i have configured this to 100 mp okay so i'll show you right now okay so let's test the api first before getting into more details so uh, let's go to the normal user python 3 uh, sample this is our program sample app so it is running okay so let's hit this api so first get the ip address so this is the public ip address slash api okay so method not allowed the reason why we are getting method not allowed is i am trying to make a get request on a post api okay if you see the method it is post if i put like comma get then it will accept okay so right now it's a post api that's the reason i am getting for method not allowed okay let's check the logs yeah here you see i got i basically uh, this server received a get request and that's the reason it is giving 405 okay so for making a post request i am using uh, a rest api client so which is i'm using postman so here what i'm going to do is i have pasted the api url method is request method is post and in the body section row i have selected the row option and then it's of content is of json okay and i am passing the required content okay so because what we are expecting in the program is a username and a password okay so both are string so username and password so let's hit this okay so you see success response came from the program and you see here here is a 200 status okay success and this is the post api so it, it hit the api and it is succeeded okay so now let's see i wanted to control this api or i wanted to limit this api with a request size of uh, 1 mb think about 1 mb 1 mb is a default value but we can configure it to any value okay so uh, i'll tell you how the abusing can happen okay so in this password or the username field let's say uh, i somehow got this api details okay so what i can do is i can basically send a large payload so the more the the larger the size that you send what will happen is the larger that will hit the server okay so if i try to hit or if someone makes to hit multiple requests in parallel like a distributed denial of service kind of uh, mechanism what will happen the, web, the server will go down because it will get loaded like anything and the server will go down so for creating like a larger string the easiest way is we can convert any file to a base 64 string okay so let's say i have uh, this file okay this image consider this image so this is a 1230 kb so which is more than an mb 1024 kb is 1 mb right so this is like i mean almost 1.25 mb okay this file and this file can be converted to a base 64 string uh, either using program or command line or there are several online tools available so convert a file to base 64 online okay if you just google you will get several sites that performs this kind of conversion so maybe if you click on the first link you will see there is option right so if you you can upload this file and then see i am uploading this image okay so you see and then encode what will happen you will get a large string okay so this string it's it will have similar size and this is the base 64 equivalent of this particular file and what what happens if i just paste that entire payload here so i'm i just framed that uh, instead of password what i have pasted is i basically pasted the base 64 value of that uh, that file okay so now my payload is of almost 1.25 mb okay so if i copy and paste this payload so instead of like the expectation was a very small payload which is of like few kbs and the in the reality what happened someone some attacker created like a large payload and sent okay so what will happen it it's taking more time reason is it is taking more time to stream and the server also takes more time to accept it okay and you see the time taken is almost 3.06 it, it took some time time for transfer and again the server also will have will be loaded more compared to a smaller size 
and this is success okay because the server accepted why the server accepted because we have configured a 100 mb client request size so now what you what we lose let's reduce that size to 1 mb so slash etc nginx sites enabled default okay so instead of 100 mb so i am going to remove two zeros from there and make it 1 mb 1 mb okay and let's verify 0 nginx hyphen t okay so it is success and let's reload okay service nginx nginx reload okay so reloaded and now if i hit the if i start let's clear the screen python 3 python 3 sample ip app so now our expectation is if we are sending something with more than 1 mb the nginx should reject okay so let's hit you see after now we received a response okay so the response code is something else see it is giving 413 response code okay and giving a status request entity too large okay the reason is uh, the nginx rejected the nginx rejected the request saying the request is too large so in this way we can basically reject okay so we can we can control the payload size that is coming to the server okay so this configuration right now we have added to the location location block but this can be added globally to the nginx also but i would recommend so instead of like setting a default value globally so because in some scenarios what will happen is you will have a group of apis and in that group of apis some of your apis will need larger size for example some some apis requires file uploads and all so if you set the value globally you will have to set to the max larger value among the all apis right so that is not going to be uh, i mean it is not that safe so i would recommend always set it specific to apis or a group of apis so that the endpoints individual end so for example here if you see location slash api i have set 1 mb so maybe i can do one more thing so i'll have another location block location slash maybe upload upload i'll keep 10 mb because in in case of uploads i am expecting max size of 10 mb okay so in this way i'll be able to or this is applicable for anything even after upload also uploads or slash something also comes what will happen this will be applicable so in this way i'll be able to configure uh, it specific to a path or a, a group of uh, paths okay so i hope this example is clear so uh, this is one of like i mean the important configuration in nginx thank you thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions uh, or feedback feel free to comment below the video i'll, I'll definitely respond back thank you thank you for very much for watching this video have a nice day